Hello everyone, this is uh, Ms. Alia Ismail from Palestinian School in Qatar. Today I'm going to discuss to you how to solve the questions for Unit 12, Period 4, page 23 at the clinic. Now before we start answering the questions, let's start to revise the new vocab in the unit. Look here, we have here some pictures of the new vocab. I want you to look at the pictures and say the words. Now, look here. Can you see the picture? What is this picture? Yeah, it is earache, cough, backache, stomachache, sense, bug, sneeze, fever, and sick. Remember, sick means ill. The same meaning for sick is ill. Now, let's go to question one in the book, page 23. Look at the question. Look and complete the sentences with the correct words. Here in the box, I have some words. And here I have some sentences. I want you to read the incomplete sentences and complete them with the correct words from the box. I will give you two minutes to do it, then we will check answers to the now let's start. First of all, let's read the words together. Read with me. Sense, bug, stomachache, thirsty, fever, earache, sore throat, sneezing, coughing. Now look at picture one. Can you see Ben and Amy? Yeah. Ben was sneezing and Amy was coughing all day yesterday. Number two, Rania has a sore throat and is very thirsty. Be careful, sore throat are two words, not one word. Now, let's go to number three. Omar has a, a fever and an earache. Be careful. Before Eric, we use an. Number four, look at Hassan. Hassan has a, yeah, stomach ache. Yeah, stomach ache, why? He has a stomach bug. The last sentence, number five. Hassan hasn't been well since last night. Now please everyone, you can check your answers and check the spelling too. Now, before doing question three in the same page, let's revise the use of has and have. Now has goes with some pronouns. He has, she has, it has and also with singular pronoun, uh, sorry, singular nouns, like the man, the man has, Mona, Mona has. Have goes with I, we, they, you. We say I have, we have, they have, you have. It goes only with some plural nouns. Like the children, the children have. The boys have, the students have. Now, let's look at the book. In the book, question three, they wrote for you here the question. Let's read. Read and circle the correct words. Before answering anything, I want you to read the sentence carefully and be careful for the subject. Let's do number one together, then you can do the others. Look at number one. Ben and Amy both have or has colds. Be careful, they write for you here both. Both means two, so they are more than one. When I say Ben and Amy, it means they. And they, as we said before, takes have, correct. Now, can you do the other sentences? Do it. Let's 
check answers together. Let's read number two. Amy has or have coughed all day? Be careful, we have the subject is Amy. Amy means she, she has. Number three. Ben, have or has had a backache too? Ben, he, he takes, has. Four, how long has or have they been sick? Here we have they, so we have to circle have, correct. Number five, Omar has or have had an uric and a toothache since last night? Here we have Omar, the subject. Omar means he, he has, yeah. Number six, the last sentence. The doctor, have or has seen other children with a stomachache this morning? Look, here I'm talking about the, ch the doctor, sorry. The doctor has. So the correct answer is the doctor has seen other children with a stomach ache this morning. Now, before we finish this class, let's make another question. Here I have examples for has and have. Please complete with has or have. Number one, I has or have written a letter. What you will write? You will write have. I have written a letter. Number two, he has or have written a letter. He has written a letter. Answer with me number three. They has or have written a letter. They have written a letter. The last sentence. Huda has or have written a letter. Huda has written a letter. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you understood everything. See you soon. Goodbye.